Mark, welcome to Sea Talk. Thanks so much for joining us. Hiya, Paul. Nice to see you. Good. Well, we, you know, we've heard from Grocery Aid a lot over over the last couple of years, but um, you're you're a new face. Like, you know, can, who are you, Mark? Who yeah. are you? Well, I may be new, but I have been a, I've been a trustee at Grocery Aid for about eight years, and um, before that, I've been in the industry for like thirty five years. So, I were, I started my career at Tesco, then I was at Sainsbury's, and then I was on the board at Waitrose for for the last ten years. Um, and then I, I stepped down from Waitrose. Um, but I've just got involved recently because Steve Barnes left Grocery Aid and they asked me to step in um, whilst we um, hold the fort, uh, whilst we look for a new, a new CEO. So I've gone straight into it um, and I, I love the charity. It's, it's, it's a great job. Great stuff. And I was going to ask, you know, what yeah. did, what attracted you to it? What, what, you, know, you said you yeah. love it. You know, why? Yeah. Well, as I say, I've been involved in the industry for like 30 years. So I've been on and off doing events, getting involved with the charity, seeing the work they do and so on. And it's just the fact that it's it touches everyone in the industry. It doesn't matter if you work in a factory, in a warehouse, in a shop, you know, in a head office. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, it, it helps everybody. And frankly, as you probably realise, the demand for help has just gone up and up in the last couple of years. It will have done. Talk, talking of that, I came across this the other day. Oh, yeah. And uh, also a timely time for us to catch up. I'm asking a question, I know the answer a little bit, but, you know, what's Grocery Aid Day? Grocery Aid Day is obviously next week, um, big day. And what we're really trying to do here is we're just trying to improve awareness in the industry, particularly in the independent sector. So... Um, we've we've got a lot of help that we can give people, but what we're at the stage we're at now is we just want more people to know about it. So Grocery Aid is a day just to say to anyone involved, look, this is what we can do. The service we provide is free. You know, you don't have to be a member or anything like that. You can ring up a free helpline and you can get all sorts of um, help and advice and so on. And, and it's just trying to spread the word to everybody. Um, and in fact, I mean, the theme this year is is actually always open, which is very relevant to the independent sector because you guys are always oh. open, you know. Um, so the helpline is there, you know, 365 days a year, you know, all day. That's the one. Yeah, that's it. Very good. And what and what can we as a sea talk and, and we as as retailers that are already engaged with you? do to support support this i think it's it's very simple in terms of really talking to your employees or your staff because i know it's a truism but they they are in many respects your biggest asset so you're very reliant on them and we know that certainly in in you know today's world some of them may not be feeling great they might be struggling for one reason or another and it's just making them aware that um, they can use our services. Our services are also confidential. So, you know, if no one has to know that they're, they're contacting us and it remains confidential. So there's material that independent retailers can use, posters and things like that. Or just simply saying, look, this is the helpline. This is the website. If, if you think you might need any of these services, then just contact these guys. And it's it's, it's spreading that word. Great stuff. We'll, we'll be a big part of uh, spread, spreading that for everyone. For you, Mark, I don't, we don't know how long you're going to be there. Um, <laughs> yeah. and what, you know, what, are your, what are your plans for, for, the, for the charity in that time? Okay. Well, the charity's grown, as I say, partially because response to demand, but the charity's grown over the last couple of years. So there's a lot of work um, to be done in terms of sort of where do you need help? Do, do people need help? Do we think for debt, for mental health, you know, for gambling issues, for relationship issues, for legal advice, whatever it is, we are looking to develop that. Um, and then we remain relevant. And it's it's just a sad fact that, you know, what we offer has had to broaden in recent years um, because we just see the, the demand for these things going up. Good stuff. Well, Mark, thank you ever so much for joining us. I did warn you before we uh, went live that uh, five minutes would go very, very quick. Yeah. But uh, we'll we'll share everything and, and all the links for, from our end with everyone. Just want to say thanks again for, uh, for coming yeah. on. And to you, Paul. All the best. Good man.